Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2022. My name's Lee. You're watching Dark Roots Creations, and this is a look back at 2021. I know most people did Vlogmas in December, and during that time, they did a lot of wrap up videos and end of the year videos. I really wanted to take the um, month of December to focus on my friends and family, celebrate the holiday season, just take a step back and relax a little bit more. And I like to close out the end of the year and set myself up for the next year. So now I'm reflecting back on some of the things, some of my reading goals and books of 2021 and just taking a look at what worked and what didn't. And this is going to be my look back at my 2021 SAS list. So SAS stands for Serious About Series, and this was a project created by Elizabeth at Lizzie Fay Loves Books, where you try to read, start, finish, or catch up on 21 series. I did not join booktube until the end of April, so I didn't find out about this, I think until May or June. So I kind of jumped in at the half year-ish point and kind of, uh, at that point, I just looked back at what series I'd finished so far in the year. And then moving forward, I did uh, you know, make it a priority or a goal to try to hit those 21 series. For me, the goal was to finish 21 series. I only got 20 done and that I could have pushed myself in the last week of the year. I decided not to. I still think 20 is a great accomplishment. So here I want to take a look back at what series I finished and I'll also let you know how many books are in the series and what my average star rating was. So first up is the Book Retreat Mystery Series by Ellery Adams. There are seven books in this series. I believe I read them all in 2021. My average star rating is 3.57. And there is another book coming out in September. Next is Blossom Street by Debbie Maycomer. There are 10 books plus, I believe, three novellas. I gave this series a 4.18 average star rating. Next was The McCade Brothers by Nora Roberts. There are four books in this series and my average star rating was 3.25. I started reading in 2020 The McGregor series by Nora Roberts. I finished that up in 2021. There were 10 books plus a novella and my average star rating was 3.54. The fifth series that I finished or caught up on is a Cupcake Bakery Mystery Series by Jen McKinley. There are currently 13 books with another one, I believe coming out in May. And this is a 3.92 average star rating for me. Next is the From This Day Forward series by Debbie Maycomer. There's a little bit of a question about which books are in this series, whether it's three or four books. Um, I know I read four books for this series and I gave it an average star rating of 2.75 not my favorite Debbie Maycomer series. Number seven was Sleepover Friends by Susan Saunders. This was an 80s, 90s middle grade series that I 
read in May for middle grade May, as well as a book a day challenge. There are, th I did not finish everything in May. I almost did. I did finish it in June. There were 38 books. I did not read 15 and 17 just because the rest of these were on Kindle Unlimited. I believe I did have to buy one off of Kindle. I would, these just two weren't available to me and I wasn't going to, they weren't um, digital. So I wasn't um, really gonna make the huge effort to search them out and find a paperback or something like that. Uh, really loved going down memory lane with this series and gave it an average rating of 3.33. Next was a Southern Cake Baker mystery series by Mamie Bell, who is also Tanya Kappas from the Camper and Criminal series. Unfortunately, there were only two books in this series, and I gave it an average four-star rating. Number nine was an Amish Candy Shop mystery series by Amanda Flower. I only learned about this series this year and finished the series this year. There is another one coming out, I believe, in August. There are currently seven books plus three novellas in this series, and I gave it an average rating of 3.66. Number 10 was The Heist Society by Allie Carter. Currently, there are no more books in this series. There were three and a novella. I really, really, really wish she would write more. I love this series. I gave it an average rating of 4.3 stars. Number 11 is a clam bake mystery series by Barbara Ross. There are nine books in the series, plus some novellas, which I didn't read. And there is a new book coming out in June. Originally, I did not like this series at all. Uh, Cozy from Killing Time with Cozy's book club encouraged me to try to give the series another shot. I did, and I did wind up enjoying it a lot more. I gave this an average star rating of 3.44. Number 12 is the Paradise Trilogy by Ellen Hildebrand. Obviously three books in the trilogy and should be no surprise, I gave this a five star rating. Next is a Gooseberry Bay series by Kathy Daly. I love this series. There were seven books. I didn't even realize in December another book came out and I believe there's another book coming out in April, I think. Um, so I have to get to those two books and there I gave this an average star rating of 4.14. Number 14 is A Christmas Tree Farm Mystery by Jacqueline Frost. There are three books in the series, and I believe I heard there is going to be a fourth one coming out this year. I did not enjoy the third book as much as the other two, which I really enjoyed. I gave this an average star rating of 3.66. Number 15 is the Library Lovers Mystery Series by Jen McKinley. There are currently 12 books out with another one coming out in October. I gave this an average rating of 3.91. Number 16 is The Tales of Port St. Frey by Patrice Serrath. Two books in this series. They say there's supposed to be a third one. I hope another one does come out. I gave this an average star rating of four and a half. Number 17 is The Villain Series by V.E. Schwab. There are two books and a prequel novella. I gave this an average rating of 4.33. Number 18 is the T and Read series by Joy Avon. There are three books in the series. I gave this an average star rating of 2.33. Really disappointed with this series. 
if more were to come out, I wouldn't bother reading them. Number 19 is The DC Detectives by Nora Roberts. There are two books in this series. I gave it an average rating of three and a half. And I believe the second book, Brazen Virtue, is going to be a Netflix series called Brazen. So you might want to look out for that. The uh, premise of the story should make the show or series pretty interesting. So I think when it does come out, I will check it out. And number 20 was the Kebab Kitchen series by Tina Cashian. There are currently five books out in the series. I gave this an average star rating of 3.2. Not sure if more books are coming out. If they do, I will not bother reading them. So those were my SAS books for 2021. I have set up a 2022 SAS list based on some different criteria that Elizabeth has for this year. Uh, just to give you a quick recap on that one, it's there's two lists and then you could do two more for the 22. So my first list of 20 is going to be um, all of the Gooseberry Bay books by Kathy Daly. If I need to add a few more on, I will do her other two Bay series to make 22 out of that one. On my second list, I'm going to catch up on a bunch of other non-cozy mystery series to get to 22 books for that. And my 22, so my two books, the first one, I'm going to read all the books um, published by Nora Roberts in 1983 and 1984. And my second one, will be to read the Cedar Cove series by Debbie Maycomer. So that's it. If any of you participated in series about series in 2021, I'd love to know how you did, what series you finished, or what you did to accomplish your goal. And if you'd like to tell me what you have planned for 2022, please leave it in the comments because I'm super interested in what other people are doing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.